After observing young people for more than 10 years, this is what I have to say. Not all young people are wise. Not all young people are going to become great. Not all young people are destined for the palace. Only those young people who make up their minds to become something in life ever become anything. I have realized that the young easily think too highly of themselves, thinking the suffering of the old cannot come to them. When I was much younger, I always wondered when I saw an elderly person struggling, I would imagine that that could never happen to me. Somehow, I always imagined I would get lucky, and like most naive young people, we think life is just unfair to those elders because they aren't smart, and we are. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a few life lessons young people learn too late when they aren't careful. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. What are the life lessons you should never learn too late as a young person? 1. You are responsible for your life. No one is. No one is responsible for your life. You are. Fortunately, I didn't have to learn this lesson too late, but for a long time, I always handed the reign of my life to others because I imagined that people owed me. I had always lived dependently on others, and that has always worked for me. So the first time I was hit by a challenge, I was thrown aback. It took a long while for me to learn that challenges are a part of life and that owning up to your challenges and fighting your own battles is just some normal part of life. Knowing this early is what will set you up for preparation, for greatness. Your parents may have all that life can bestow, or they may not. There may be a great support system, but realize that the rug will be pulled from under your feet one day. You will be thrown into the harsh world and would have to learn that you alone have to fight to take your place in the world. Better learn that early and start to take responsibility for your life before you become addicted to living life dependent on others. If you don't learn to clean up your own mess now, it may take a long while before you ever learn to clean up your mess. And trust me, in life, you will make a lot of mess. 2. Success isn't served on a golden platter. It's okay to sign up for a year's subscription on Netflix, but this is what I know. Successful people don't expect success to be served to them on a golden platter. If Tiger Woods had spent most of his youth watching Netflix, I doubt he would become the best golfer in the world. If Michael Jordan had spent all of his time in front of the TV or on social media, I doubt he would be a successful basketballer. Success won't happen for cheap. And here's one thing I have found out. Most successful people who enjoy repeated, long-lasting success actually started out early, kept practicing for years, and so were able to maintain consistent success because it was already a part of the fun. Have fun, yes, but never let fun have you. Find the balance between relaxing with a little entertainment and working so hard to achieve the life of success you desire. 3. The seat to greatness lies in you. Not only in the next person. As young people, it is easy for us to doubt ourselves, to disbelieve our own ability to ever become anything worthwhile. I know young people who don't have a faint belief in themselves, and they exemplify this by selling themselves so cheaply, either to the opposite sex or to the wrong lifestyle. No, the seed of greatness lies in you, and like every seed, it must be nurtured. But you can't nurture what you haven't recognized. No matter how smart somebody is, it is just proof that you also are smart. God is never impartial. He will never give to one person and not give to the other. You may not have the same sort as I have, but you sure have something within you that I and others do not have. Find it. Identify it. Be content to know that in you lies the seed of greatness, then pursue it. 4. Not all seeds should be eaten. Not all money you earn should be spent. Some parts are for saving and investing. I have seen young people use smartphones and luxuries even their parents cannot afford, all because they want to look rich. Personally, I have learned to live by a principle. I don't want to look rich. I want to be rich. If you make money and you spend all you make, you're digging your financial grave. The reason is simple. Within each money you earn is the seed that should be sown. If you eat that seed, you have eaten the tree that should bear your fruits in the future. Ask most adults who are dirt poor now, they wish they had saved and invested when they were earning so much when they were much younger. Don't repeat their error. Save as you earn. Invest as you save. That's a fair balance. 5. Success isn't shiny objects. Define success, however way you like. If you define success by shiny objects, that is, expensive cars, luxury houses, expensive pieces of jewelry, etc. That's great, but you're missing the whole point. Success is an impact. Success is being able to make a difference not only in your own life, but also in others' lives. It isn't successful if it does not touch the lives of others. In fact, business success is based on this same principle. 
help more people to get what they want, and in turn, they will give you what you want, which, in the case of business, is money. If you aren't helping more people to get what they want, don't expect to be successful. When young people focus so much on making money instead of making an impact, they miss the point and often never end up rich. Research a minimum of 50 ethically rich people in the world, and one of the things you find about them is that they sought to impact the world and, in the process, made some money. Put money first, and you will be out of the game of life faster than you can imagine. Put impact and service first, and riches and popularity will tear down your door. It's that simple. I hope this helped you. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.